What's up, kite fam? We're going on a trip. We gotta put some kites in a bag. I'm gonna do a quick in the bag, show you what I'm taking, and how to get it in a bag to pack to go on a plane. That way it's safe, you can get there without your kites being broken, you don't have to worry about it. Let's go, baby. So, just use a quad roll-up bag. Um, it's actually time for a new one because some of the clips are broken. But let's check, you know, standard fare stuff here. Um, I've got a full suite of gins. So, gin, ST, mid vent, vented, extra, and hardcore. So, <clears throat> got that. Got the new prototype gin door in here. Not going to show you that, but it's in here. And uh, so, we got all wind ranges covered for out in Long Beach, uh, where the wind typically gets going pretty good sometimes. Um, and then also, can't go without a dual line. I know you guys think I only fly quad or something, but no, nah, we got a Solus tucked in the bag, which is a great kite for the, uh, the higher wind ranges. Um, good luck getting one, but that is a great kite. So then I've got team lines and handles, Kite Forge handles with 120 foot uh, lines. My urban set of handles, 30 footers. Uh, I've got extra lines for team stuff, extra, extra 30 footers tucked away in there. Trusty Kite Stake. Um, so all this setup too, you can roll up and take on the plane with you um, as a carry-on. Not the steak. They don't like big pointy things. Steaks always go check bags. Other than that, the rest of this, dude, you can totally um, roll it up, carry it with you like you're going to the beach, but carry it onto the plane. Works out well. Um, so that is all I'm going pretty light this trip. Uh, I do have an extra bag of all different rides. So I've got all the rides that I need tucked right in there. Um, that's pretty sweet too. It's towards the outside of the roll um, of the burrito. Uh, so it actually offers a bit of protection when it's in the plane. Dudes are jumping on it, whatever they want to do. Uh, you know how it goes. And the only thing else is this pocket. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah. Dog steak. Glad I checked because that baby's sweet, but it's heavy. And I'm not gonna need that, so we'll save some weight this time. Oh, and then I've got end caps, bungees, idle points, um, and woo, TKL. Another kite steak. I am checking this bag this time. Uh, it's gonna be checked. So I don't have to worry about the steaks being in there, but we'll get rid of the heavy stuff. Other bag, toiletry bag. Why is this part of the bag check we say? Ah, I don't use them to hold, hold the goods. This is where I keep all of my radio stuff. So TKL, team radio, Oh, charging cable for the iPod. Keep an iPod in here. Uh, microphone. Radios. Backup radio. Uh, got some stickers in here and a bunch of batteries. But uh, yeah, this is all my team get up. And I can hang it in the car when I get in there. Boom, it's ready to go. Easy and convenient. So if you're doing team flying, I'd highly recommend just a toiletry bag and keep all your team gear in there. Uh, works out really, really well. So we're going to Portland. You know that. I know that. What do we need in Portland? Long Beach, Washington. All that Pacific Northwest coastline. Rain gear. Lots of it. My stuff's really nice and thin and small, so I like to just 
throw it right in there in the bag with some stuff. And we will take the buff. Throw that in there too. That gets rolled up with everything. If you are looking to save some room, you can throw clothes in there too. I've thrown clothes in here a bunch and just rolled them up with the bag. Uh, it's pretty tricky. Works out great. Uh, but, no, nope, we're just going to do this. Roll it up. Bam! Kite bag ready. Radio bag is ready. Taking an umbrella as well. Because taking a stool, sweet little tripod, fold up stool, really, really compact and weighs like nothing. Um, so I like to bring this on the trips with me because it's great to have a spot to sit. And it's really nice and easy. Water shoes. Waterproof shoes. Used last night. Make sure you pack your smelly shoes and socks and stuff like that right where the zipper opens. So when TSA busts that zipper open, man, they don't want nothing to do with that. Pro tip. We got the bag ready to pack. Uh, I use a wakeboard bag, um, lots of different ways you can do this, uh, I'm just going to show you the way that I do it though. Uh, I know a lot of people use uh, hard case golf uh, bags, uh, rifle, uh, like firearm cases, uh, if you're traveling with a firearm case, don't go to Colombia where you don't speak the language, um, or somewhere where it, you know, makes it tough to communicate that it's not firearms in the box, it's actually kites. Uh, ask Fletch about that, he knows what's up. So I don't like using firearm uh, cases, but I've got this guy here. It's actually a little bit long. If I need to carry uh, full length dualies, I can go that route. Um, or some of my longer single line stuff, that kind of stuff can go in here. Uh, but I actually end up folding it over using it, using it short. But uh, yeah, let's go. So we're going to throw the kites in first. Always like to start with the kites. That is going to go in all the way against the zipper there. This is the back side. That's it. The kites are going to slide in. For me, I know that pack of rods is right on the top there, um, so I usually throw that on top. So hopefully that is the first thing to get stepped on. Uh, uh, to be completely honest, once all this is rolled up, I'll jump on this bag when we get it packed up. There is no problems with that. Don't be worried about your kites at all. It's in a roll-up bag and you got quite a few in there. They are safe. Uh, doesn't matter what those monkeys on the ramps do with your bag, you're good. Uh, so, we're going to do that, throw that in there. I like to go next thing that's a little longer, we'll put the long stuff in there. Camera tripod, that weighs a bunch, but it is necessary. Umbrella. Throw the radio bag up front, and all I need is water, shoes, and clothes. There. Those shoes can go there, those shoes can go there. Then, just slap a bunch of clothes in there. I will keep those shoes on the back side because I just played disc golf in those last night. <laughs> so TSA will be happy when they open this bag right there. Take the rest of the clothes, slap the bad boys in there. Just 
zip this bad boy up. And what did we learn earlier? Smelly, gross weirdness. Sorry TSA, but that's right where the zipper goes. And we're good to go. I actually take this bit and I fold it over. Clip this buckle through here and it holds the bag folded over. And it's really nice and short, compact. I never get uh, hassled for oversized luggage or anything like that. Uh, it's round enough that I usually tell them there's golf clubs in there if they ask. Um, I've never had an issue though. So this right here is a whole package. This flies great. Uh, only other tip I could say is remove any of the old bad tags. Amateur status. So let's take this out on the floor and show you what this is like all done up and ready to go. There she is. Everything's packed, ready to roll. All I gotta do is go to the airport. And because I got everything packed correctly and I got that uh, roll up bag with all my kites bound together, so all those carbon rods are stuck together. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I've never had to. Uh, I've never had to do this, but I'm gonna do it just to prove a point. I know my kites are right there. Dance a jig on this baby. Doesn't matter. I'll pull those kites out. We'll be perfect uh, when I get in Portland. We've made it bag is going to be on the plane. It's checked, ready to go. One piece of advice as far as that goes, uh, prepay the bag. I feel that prepay in the bag, when you get up there, if it's close to oversized, they like don't want to do the extra work to charge you because you've already paid. They're just kind of like, whatever man, we're going to tag your bag, take it down, drop it off at oversized luggage, and that's it. So, makes it super easy. Um, one more word of advice for traveling in the airports. Bring an empty water bottle, man. As soon as you get through security, they've got bottle filling stations. So you don't have to buy a freaking like, $5 bottle of water. So, that's it, man. You've learned how to pack your bags and your kites for air travel. Go somewhere. Let's see you someplace.